Oh, good morning everyone. All I'd like to say for today then is that I have messed up the recording. So I'm doing a voiceover on top of what you can see in front of you. So ignore my mouth movements, but here we are. Today then we're going to be playing Fulham and Liverpool as you can see here. In our last episode we played Burnley and Newcastle. From there then we won at Everton which was the most important one I wanted to win. Chelsea we lost although we did uh, save a penalty initially. Stoke we drew 1-1. Again that was another game we saved a penalty. And then Leeds we lost 3-0 which I think was a little bit disappointing. In this episode also we have got the FA Cup third round draw. As you can see here then we have signed Joe Bellingham and Jans Forstruter. This is James uh, Joe Bellingham, not quite Joe, uh, Jude, but here we are. And this is Jans Forstruter. He can play anywhere along the attacking front three minus striker, though I wouldn't put it past him to be able to do that as well. With his finishing at 14. And he's there playing in midfield. Which is where I initially signed him to sort of play as a nice little Mazala. I suppose the only thing we need to realistically work on is probably going to be his concentration. However, he has got four goals in five appearances for the European Under-20 Elite League. So as you can see here, November's Young Player of the Month. Then you've got Dino Petrus, or Petrus, should I say, from Manchester United. He's 20 years old. He's only played two games I believe uh, sorry three games in the Premier League nine sub appearances with two sub appearances in the UEFA Conference League this is our very own Diogo Ribi as you can see his attributes have increased brilliantly across the board and this is the other guy Lewis Mora who's a wonder kid for Chelsea right then going into our first game against Liverpool then this is going to be the team that's going out Diogo in goal second on the left Davis on the right Rarely and small in the middle, though I'm not sure if I changed that. Yep, yeah, there we go. So it's McIntyre and Baptiste in the middle in defence, and then you've got Taylor and Orford middle of the field, and Haig, Powell, and Ordeans on the attacking front three, with Anderson up front on this one. Jurgen Klopp is still at Liverpool. Uh, nobody expects us to get results, just go out there and enjoy playing the match without any pressure on you. Here we have Orford through to Anderson, and it's just a little over hit. Alison Becker rolls it back out. Tyler intercepts, and we have another shot with Anderson, and he should have maybe done at least better hitting the target. Liverpool for Endrick into the box, and it's saved and pushed onto the woodwork. Baptiste sent to Orford over the top and it's intercepted. Ferran Torres to Endrick. Endrick shoots and that's a very, very poor effort from Endrick. It is blocked and that is now a corner. Endrick to take the corner. Gabriel gets a head to it but should have done better himself. No doubt. Into the next highlight we do have Haig taking a free kick. Maybe he should have done better as well. At least testing the keeper. Endrick with the next free kick. Luis Diaz to Tuchuda. He has a shot and it is just over the top on the top of the netting. Coming in at half time then. The lads are doing pretty well. Nil nil so far. I'm happy with the performance. Let's keep it up. Um, here I make a couple of changes just because of the tired legs and the ratings are a little low. But as you can see, we have Endrick making a run towards our box and of course we give up a penalty because as I've said that's something that we like to do a lot recently but as you can see VAR check in and it is indeed a penalty Endrick to take the penalty as I said Ribby has t uh, had two shots faced against pen so two penalties faced in the last two games which would have been Leeds and somebody else I forget then and he did save both of them. He even went the right way on this one as well. To, to be fair to him. Although he didn't quite manage to get to it. Which is unfortunate. Kick off highlight then with Davis to Baptiste. Baptiste trying to put it over the top for Ordeans. 
but Liverpool are wise to it. And Gabriel to Tudor, to Gabriel, to Williams. It seems to be very fast, but I know that I've not sped it up, so I do apologise if it's a little bit choppy as I'm recording the audio over the top. Ferran then with the ball, running down the right-hand side, puts it in for his teammates, and he scores in top bins, and that was a pretty good goal all around. Here I am just making to make sure that we've got the instructions as per that I like to have them. So making substitutions, Tomlinson is, sorry, no, Woodos came on for Linz Foster maybe, I want to say, not too sure, but prove it here then with the ball in the box, he turns, he shoots, ah, he should have put more power behind it and uh, might have actually had a chance of scoring that, kept it low as well, maybe. Joe Cancelo then with a free kick for Liverpool now. And that goes a curling effort. Beautiful. Just hits the crossbar there. Our boys are looking a little bit tired. But it is full time. And we were the underdogs. And I expect to see them all in training. Because I'm not happy with that performance this time around. And at the end of the game, then that puts us in 17th for 16 games played. Five points off where I would like to be at the end of... Well, my target ratio, I suppose. Here we are with the FA Cup. So all we're going to do is we're just going to speed through the FA Cup until we get to where our match is and who we play. And it is Cristiano Ronaldo to do the draw. On closer inspection at Cristiano Ronaldo, then we can see he's an assistant manager. He's unemployed, and he's been unemployed since he left Manchester United as a player in 2024. That's five years, people. Five years this man's been unemployed. I might uh, look to bring him in as an assistant manager and see what he says. And we're playing Leeds. Fantastic. Leeds and Birmingham teams have such great history, don't we? Right then, here we are. We are looking at our youth intake here. As you can see, it says an excellent intake. This is a terrific group of players going through and has the potential to be a real golden generation for the club. I'd just like to point out that at this point in time, every year, year on year, because we're going to get better and better intakes, every intake is probably going to say excellent intake and a real golden generation for the club. Because that's just how things go in football manager if, once you get better and better. Would like to say if you look at the intake distribution, we can see that we've got two strikers, two attacking midfielders, two midfielders centrally, two defenders centrally, one goalkeeper, one left back, one right back, one midfielder on the left and right, two attacking midfielders on the right, and one attacking midfielder on the left. The grades are as you see, B's, C's we are interested in, and we'll definitely sign those. We will also sign the E's because it helps fill out the squad for the under 18s and whilst that might not be important for the players that are no good to get game time it certainly means that at least the players that are better will get a lot more game time and if they start winning matches then obviously at that point they start developing a lot better anyhow I'm going to pass you over to where I figured it out and the live commentary from about now uh, welcome back to the Fulham game. I've only just realised that my microphone has not been on this whole time, so I apologise. It's going to be a voiceover for the first half. At least it'll be easier to edit. Anyhow, focus on what I've got in front of me. Diogo Ruby's in goal, circling on the left, Davis on the right, McIntyre and Baptiste in the middle with Taylor and Orford. Taylor and Orford doing what they do in midfield. Haig on the left, Pruitt on the right, Powell in the middle with Anderson. Up front. Burgess is on the bench this time around. However, his morale is very poor because I think he's been dropped from the team because of his suspension from the last game. 
Going into the dressing room, we want to say we've got nothing to lose here, but we can make all the difference if I pump my fists and give everyone a good pat on the back. Skipping through this. Throwing for Fulham then. Mitrovic to Novia and it goes over. Bellingham of to Palm manages to intercept Haig with the ball and goes just wide. Although it looks like it was blocked and it's now a corner. Prove it to take it. In swings. Haig doesn't quite get to it and Fulham managed to get there before the highlight does indeed actually end. Asking our assistant to tell the players where to go. Let's get a bit more positive, try and get something going. All right, that brings us up to half time. Nothing's absolutely nothing's happened. <sighs> I mean, we're controlling possession, so I suppose that's what we want, right? But we need to be getting shots off at this point. We've got eight shots, three on target. We need to do more. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. So we want Burgess up front. I think we're going to put him for Haig. Prove it and him can swap over. Then them two can swap over. That does that job. Roger Rayleigh is going to drop him for Jamal. And then I think you're going to drop him for Dennis there. You're going to jump out for Weir. And that's what we're going to do with that there. And then we start shouting to Banmore. Do it. Then we're going to just make a couple more changes to the Ask Assistant. Fulham getting intercepted where we've got Taylor picking up the ball. Passing it back to Ribé, back to McIntyre. McIntyre's over the top. Powell to Burgess. Burgess puts it to Linz Foster. Powell now. Hopefully over the top to prove it. Prove it's going to put it into the box. Powell's going to have a shot and he puts it well over the bar. Although it looks like it was saved. So it's going to be a corner. Prove it. Doesn't get to take it because that's the end of the highlight. This feels like it should have been a game we could have won. And is very unfortunate to not hopefully have won it. Do you know what? Points better than losing, but we should definitely, definitely won that. There's no way we shouldn't have won it. So, we're five points behind where I want to be. Two points above the drop zone. Um, yeah, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, people. All right, so if we look at the schedule then, we shall be back for Burnley. And oh, I feel like Burnley and Leeds has been done before. It's Burnley and Norwich, wasn't it, before? So we'll do Leeds and not oh, Yeah, Leeds and Norwich. We'll do Leeds and Norwich this time. So FA Cup third round away. And then we're away against Norwich as well. So if you've enjoyed that, I apologise about the sound. I'll sort it in post. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.